Welcome to this episode of YouTube where we do have some dynamics going on every day uh, that we do wolf care. This is Rika and Blackstone actually having a nice social moment inside the building. Typically in the morning they come in the building to get weighed, they get their morning meds, uh, so the younger ones are much more tolerant to the building because they've had that experience throughout their socialization process. Axel Grayson, not so much. So. The problem is, though, one moment in time can change, and here Blackstone has decided to take a little bit of an advantage over Rika and actually sitting on her, creating a little bit of tension from Rika. Rika certainly, you know, it's not an endearing thing to have a wolf sit on your head. And those moments can then kind of spill over into other activity. And so here is a 10 o'clock at night uh, shot on the 3rd of July. And what starts out as a little bit of jaw sparring Blackstone and Kaz uh, becomes a pack focus on Blackstone and there is terminology and again the use of alpha kind of went away and, but we still use the word omega quite a bit and that's the bottom of the pack order. Sometimes we just hear barks and we hear bark howling but we don't have any ability to know what's causing it so then we kind of have to go back to the surveillance cameras check it out and that's what Grayson's uh, doing here at a you know 6 45 in the morning Something's got him pretty agitated, and nobody else is replying. So, again, it kind of speaks to that idea of Grayson probably still assuming a lot of leadership. So, other than that, the pack dynamics is going pretty good. Axel's responding to his treatment. His hair is growing in, so that's a real promising sign. And Kaz and Rika are having their moments. And one thing you'll notice on the side of Kaz here, he's got a little bit of a wound there. He had some pine pitch that was stuck to his hide, and he pulled it off, creating a little bit of an opening. Then he started licking on it, and it's kind of opened up quite a bit more. So he's being treated on a regular basis with some antibiotic powder. He's on oral antibiotics as well as an anti-inflammatory. Uh, it doesn't bother him at all. He's just doing his same old Kaz wrestling. But these yearlings are still very submissive to the adults, and that's a good sign from the standpoint of them not pushing and uh, testing rank order at this particular time. But you also notice that they're running with Grayson, um, again, following him along. So what's changed this week uh, to help uh, Kaz heal. We've decided to drain the pond, plus we had another pollen issue. It's been hot and we've had a lot of vegetation growth and a lot of algae and things that are just making it hard for the UV filter system to keep up with. So easier to just to drain the pond, give Kaz a couple of days for that wound to dry and again let that pond sit. It's a cooler uh, pattern of weather here in the next couple of days, plus we expect some rain tomorrow. Uh, so that will help out. Uh, he does like to swim, so he's in that water quite a bit. And you can see Rika responding to the drain and that water movement and sound. Um, and Kaz actually trying to bite at the drain there. That's kind of an interesting stimuli for them. So another stimuli was snow. Uh, the wolf care team had the foresight to uh, save nine pails of snow um, this spring in the freezer to bring out on the 4th of July. So it was uh, 4th of July snow cones here for the wolves. Obviously we had red, white, and blue. Blue not as popular as red. And you'll see everybody getting involved with the red snow cone and actually consuming it. It's Gatorade, um, so it's good for their electrolytes as well. So uh, certainly brought the entire pack out. Everybody wagging their tails for the 4th of July.